Right Honorable Theresa May, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, my colleague Dr. Harshwardhan, Minister for Science and Technology and Earth Science, Dr. Naushad Forbes, President of CII, distinguished members from the academia, eminent scientists and technologists, industry leaders from UK and India, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to address the India-UK Tech Summit 2016. The Tech Summit was envisaged during my visit to the UK in November last year to reinforce the friendship between India and the UK. It also marks the high point commemorating 2016 at the India-UK year of education, research, and innovation. It is a privilege that Right Honorable Theresa May has joined us at this event. Madam Prime Minister, I'm aware that India has always been close to your heart and you have been a great friend of India. Recently, you celebrated Diwali at your home with members of the Indian community. Your presence here today reaffirms your commitment to the bilateral relationship. It is an honor for us that you choose to visit India as your first bilateral trip outside your immediate neighbor and we extend a warm welcome to you. Today, the world is at an inflection point where technology advancement is transformational. It is vital that India and the United Kingdom two countries linked by history, work together to define the knowledge economy of the 21st century. In the current global environment, our two countries face several economic challenges which directly affect trade and commerce. But I'm confident that together, we can leverage our scientific strengths and technically, technological prowess to create new opportunities. India is now the fastest growing large economy with the most open investment climate. Our, innovation, our innovative entrepreneurs, talented workforce, and R&D capabilities combined with large markets, demographic dividend, and increasing e-competitiveness offer new growth sources for the world economy. Likewise, the UK too has experienced resilient growth in the recent past. It excels in academic quests and technological innovation. Though the quantum of bilateral trade has remained at the same level for the past, past five years of our investment in both directions have been robust. India is the third largest investor in UK, and UK is the largest G20 investor in India. Both countries support large numbers of jobs in each other's economies. India and UK cooperation in science and technology is driven by high quality and high impact research partnerships. I am glad to mention that in less than two years' time, under the Newton-Bhava program 
we have started wide ranging collaborations covering basic science to solution science aimed at addressing societal challenges together our scientific communities are working on new vaccines for infectious disease inventing new smart materials providing solutions for clean energy and climate change mitigation and improving crop productivity including agriculture and food security we have agreed to establish the india uk clean energy r&d center on solar energy with joint investment of 10 million pounds a new anti microbial bl resistance initiative with joint investment of 15 million pounds is also being launched i feel that india and uk can partner in harnessing the vast traditional knowledge based in india coupled with modern scientific investigation to provide a holistic approach to preventive health care this can help address some of the modern lifestyle disease that we face india at partnership with uk in industrial research has been one of our most exciting programs the global innovation and technology alliance or gita platform of a cii and department of science and technology along with innovative uk support industry led r&d project and affordable healthcare clean technology manufacturing and ict these sectors open new potential for indian and uk businesses to convert the scientific knowledge into technology based enterprises i call upon all the part participants here to contribute and add value to this exciting bilateral programs aim at fostering innovation and technology entrepreneurship i firmly believe that science technology and innovation are immense growth forces and will play a very significant role in our relationship the tech summit aims said strengthening our strategic partnership for mutual gains based on our shared technological prowess and scientific knowledge i have always said that science is universal but technology has to be local it is in this context that such summits give us an opportunity to understand each other's requirements and forge our future relationship on that understanding the convergence of my government flagship development missions our technology achievements and aspirations and our strong bilateral relations offer huge new growth avenues for india and british industries there is an opportunity for india and uk to collaborate in the digital india program and expand information convergence and people centric e governance india will soon have over a billion phone connections with an urban tele density of around 154% we have 350 million internet users we are bringing last mile connectivity to nearly 100000 villages across the country such rapid growth offers new digital highways and new markets for uk and indian companies to address a natural collaboration emerges 
in India's rapidly developing financial services sector. FinTech is emerging as the next big transformation for India as we bring 220 million new households in the umbrella of the Jandhan Yojana. This financial inclusion scheme is being melded with mobile technology and the unique identification number to form the largest social security program in the world. With UK's leadership in financial technology and international finance promotion opportunities can be harnessed by our enterprise in this mission. We also expect Make in India to be a key sector of bilateral engagement. Advanced manufacturing is a special endeavor under this program. UK, as a leading player, can benefit from our liberal FDI policies in defense manufacturing, aerospace, and electronics engineering. The Smart City mission aims to integrate digital technology into our rapidly urbanizing environment. I am glad that there is already a high level of interest from the UK in projects in Pune, Amravati, and Indore. I understand that UK companies have already signed deals worth nine billion pounds and I encourage more participation. The Starts Up India program aims at converging innovation and technology with entrepreneurship of our tax savvy youth. Today, India and UK have emerged among the top three largest startup hubs in the world with an exciting ecosystem of investors and innovators. Together, we can create a vibrant and thriving environment for new commercial applications with breakthrough technologies. The chosen theme for this summit, like advanced manufacturing, biomedical devices, design, innovation and entrepreneurship are present new opening for business collaborations in our trade relationship. I believe that India and the UK must continue to nurture and support an ecosystem of high quality fundamental research to pave the way for joint technology development that can address global challenges. I am happy to note that the India-UK Tax Summit forces on higher education. Education is vital for our students and will define our engagement in a shared future. We must therefore encourage greater mobility and participation of young people in educational and research opportunities. I congratulate the Department of Science and Technology and the CII for organizing this event with the United Kingdom as the partner country. I am confident that the Tax Summit will lay the foundation for the next phase of India-UK relationship. It will take us together into a journey based on shared scientific knowledge and technological provisions. I thank all the participants from UK and India whose contribution and presence is crucial to the success of this meet. I once again thank Prime Minister Theresa May for gracing this occasion for sharing her perspective and vision 
in building a new India-UK partnership. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.